like to see. This is for everyone. If you can all make your way over there for the performance area, I call out ideas for scenarios we'd love to see and the performers come in with their suggestions. Okay, here we go. Things a new Pope shouldn't say in his first public speech. <laughs> I'd like to thank my wife. <laughs> I'm a celibate. Get me out of here. <laughs> Very good. Well done. The second topic is books heading straight for the remainder bin. The Ron Atkinson diet. <laughs> Iraq's weapons of mass destruction, a dossier. <laughs> Next topic is slogans a Tory party should have used in the election. It's L'Oreal and I'm worth it. <laughs> If politicians endorsed products. After you, right? It's L'Oreal, and I'm worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Were you injured in an accident that wasn't your fault? <laughs> Unsettling things to hear in the White House. Oh, that. That's a map of Iran. <laughs> <laughs> Discarded titles for the next Harry Potter book. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Abu Ghraib. <laughs> Things you shouldn't say to the Queen on being given your honour. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, I must post that letter. Bad ways to start a party political broadcast. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm John Prescott. Now, I expect you're wondering why I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, we all know we're not going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Things you'd never hear a French person say. And we throw that part of the animal away. <laughs> okay, our next topic is what the voices in Tony Blair's head are saying. Cherie, will you shut the f up? Okay. <laughs> Things a Wimbledon commentator would never say. How wonderful to see an old British final. <laughs> Advantage, Whittacombe. <laughs> TV shows that never made it to air. Police, camera, paperwork. <laughs> Unlikely lines for the Queen to include in her annual message. Send a rebate or the corgi gets it. <laughs> Bad things to say on stage at Live Aid. I'm Michael Howard, and this is my rap for Africa. <laughs> if I really am the father, why is he so stupid? <laughs> Inappropriate things to say on winning Wimbledon. Mr. Blair, <laughs> this is for Iraq. <laughs> I'm delighted to have won uh, and put all the drug rumours behind me and uh, I'd just like to thank my husband for sticking with me. <laughs> The wrong thing to say on your first day in the army. Um, this is just one weekend a month, right? <laughs> Bad things for the England manager to be caught saying. I've just named the side I think can win the World Cup. It's Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> Ill-advised things for a Lib Dem leadership candidate to say. 
Hello, I'm Charles Kennedy. <laughs> Bad things to say at Prime Minister's question time. Uh, could, could I ask the Prime Minister, when are you going to retire, you bastard? <laughs> the very worst person to be President of the US. Scott, and this is Silly Bang. <laughs> this round is much easier if you can do impressions. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, dear, it's a commercial. <laughs> Next topic is unlikely things to hear at the Oscars. The dress. Oh, Primark. <laughs> For best film in a foreign language, Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> what you don't want to hear a Prime Minister say. Uh, uh, well, who'd have thought it? <laughs> Just like to play you a little song I've written. Unsettling things to hear from the cockpit of a plane. This is the captain speaking. We're out at the moment. Please leave a message after the show. <laughs> what not to say on receiving a Winter Olympics medal. I'd like to thank my mother for providing my urine sample. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we call him Four Man Bob. <laughs> Okay, the next topic is improbable things for Osama bin Laden to say in his tapes. I'm Osama bin Laden. And this is Silit Bang! <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely things for a TV announcer to say. Frankie is the winner, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome back. <laughs>